Okay, guys, so what he's saying is absolutely correct. There are a lot of variables that will contribute to creating that static electricity. Um, but the biggest thing we need to look at is the fact that on many of these systems, they're using a wood router, which is not designed for CNC use. I've said this in many previous videos, and these units just spit out huge amounts of electromagnetic interference because, again, they're drawing great amount of amps. The other issue is, is that your chassis is a conductor because it's metal and therefore it becomes like a giant antenna. Now, what I always find most interesting with these influencers is they always tend to speak about what they know. And I tell you guys, the spotting the knot is pretty easy because as you see here in this picture, you can see we have cables that are not shielded in any way, shape, or form, and they should be double shielded to mitigate both forms of high and low frequency EMI using mylar foil and tin braided copper. Now it acts as a Faraday cage, once again, protecting the leads for corruption of that excess energy. So it's interesting that he'd be so concerned with grounding a CNC chassis, yet leaving non-shielded cables present on the system, which basically yields a chassis that still is highly susceptible to EMI penetration on his signals, which makes the chassis virtually a gamble on whether or not it will actually run stably.